For the past two years, the best postgraduate paintings from around South Africa is found at the Emerging Painters Show at the Turbine Art Fair, curated by Jessica Webster. The Emerging Painters um, Show is fully funded by the Forum, who run the Turbine Art Fair, so it's not affiliated with any gallery. They send me out to, to find emerging talent in painting, but by artists who haven't received adequate exposure. For many of them, it's their first time they're ever being exposed, or it's their first time being exposed on a major platform. And I must say, they're getting a lot of attention and their sales are, are through the roof. So this year, we, we decided to create a specific theme and we called it Touch, which means that it's about the texture of painting and how the texture of painting creates meaning. The way in which you paint um, really, really becomes specific to the meaning you make. So we really wanted to highlight that, and I think the paintings we have chosen are very, very strong in terms of the, the texture that they've used in this instance. The theme of the show allowed visitors to delve further into how the choice of material and technique informs the concept and effect of particular paintings. This particular project was inspired uh, by a research trip that I took to Great Zimbabwe about two years ago. Going through an archive in uh, one of the museums there, I found a number of uh, sort of discarded uh, portraits. So I'm quite interested in this idea of what is being preserved, what is being conserved, how things are, are kept and um, looked after. So I work with ink and bleach, which is a very volatile medium, and that actually speaks to this concept of, of preservation, and it will, they'll, the artworks will continue to change um, after, like once they've been made and once they've been purchased. So they'll have a life of their own, just as the objects in the museums have a life of their own. In addition to the textual element, each painting is accompanied by an explanatory piece of writing from the young artists about their work. Being chosen in the Emerging Painters uh, exhibition, I mean, it's been a thrilling experience. I went through a lot for, for me to get to where I am right now. So um, the, this organization helped me a lot for me to like recognize myself as well, because like where I grew up, people don't recognize uh, art because uh, artists have a different way of expressing how they see the world. So others see, uh, they, they see it as a weird thing to do instead of focusing on what you're trying to express through your works. Most of his, his work symbolizes an African-based perspective. You, know, um, where you can see with his, um, how he, he portrays the faces. It's in an African continent um, 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 manner. You can also see it with these detailing. You know, he always adds beadwork. Yeah, I think, yeah, that's what makes it different. That, that, that's, the, that, that's the difference that Tato brings with his work. Like, our Africans nowadays are modernized, so this is kind of like a reminder of, it touches base with the past, who we were before, what we are today. The Emerging Painter Show is also a gateway to the great art world for young artists, where both experienced and new buyers can pick up works from future greats. What inspired me with this artwork, uh, it is a place that I'm from, which is Ivory Park, where a lot of people, uh, the working class mostly, is uh, uh, residing at. So I think uh, the artwork was inspired by these people that are living in the township, uh, actually doing, uh, actually voting and also working, and spending that money to these same people that are actually suppressing them. And they think that yeah, this is the way things are, should be. This is the way things are. I want to see myself as a big artist one day, an artist that can actually talk to the people and actually make change. The art scene in Africa um, is really beginning to develop, but I think globally, um, African art is beginning to be recognized for, for a very special um, history and background and, and richness in terms of interpretation and a, a different skill set that's coming into the, the international sea. Um, so in that way I think Africa is, it is the hottest new thing um, and I think all African artists can rejoice for that, for that matter and also know that their voices are being heard and that they have something to say and the world is ready to listen. Supporting local artists isn't just helping their careers develop, it's growing the industry and celebrating local stories and creativity.